here to give a voice to filmmakers that normally would not have a voice. We're here showing seven films about social injustice. These are films primarily by Santa Barbara filmmakers to supply entertainment and moral value to our community. So movies by the people for the people. This is going to be a good opportunity to showcase different opinions and different experiences from women from all different backgrounds, 18 women's stories, and it'll give the audience a chance to see their own experiences with not having children, whether they chose to have children or they evolved to not have children. And I'm hoping that the audience will be able to come away with a new look at women who haven't had children. I'm from Israel and I have two films here. Uh, one called uh, Let There Be Light. Uh, it's about uh, living the Orthodox, the Jewish Orthodox uh, uh, way of living and being secular and the, way, the thing that you're going through uh, in the process, the family. We um, took uh, mostly films that we didn't think would be shown in the larger festivals because of their issues, because they're about um, very volatile social subjects at the moment. It's a little intimidating sometimes and I have to kind of assert myself, but I'm proud to actually be a woman in this field and uh, I hope to just continue to grow. We're showing my movie, which is Blood Ganja, which is about the raids and arrests that took place in 2010 here in Santa Barbara. There's actual studies that prove that marijuana, THC, CBD, all the cannabinoids within marijuana are effective. They're effective for many different ailments, whether it's ADHD, PTSD, or actual physical ailments you have on your body, cancer, chemotherapy to help with nausea. It's a very localized movie, primarily about the clinic Horty Farm. The owner and his pregnant wife were unjustly arrested and charged with 46 felonies. We're here today um, to have a celebration of female empowerment through film. So we will be watching a Femme and a Womb with a View with a large contingent of our community. We're very excited to be here and um, it's very important uh, for the community to be aware of everything that the Jewish Federation does and all the programs that we have for the community at large. Women are feeling more and more that they can uh, challenge themselves, they can push themselves, they can really reach uh, to heights that they never even conceived, you know, in the past. Uh, the group that I work with are Holocaust, well, local Holocaust survivors who um, have amazing stories, whose stories need to be told to community members and school children. And we want to raise awareness and let people know that anyone can come in and visit our Portraits of Survival exhibit. The idea behind this is, is that if these local people can create these beautiful pieces of art that have moral value, then we at least, the neighbors of these people, the community, need to share in it and need to stand up and be counted. We're not bound by any city, state, country, or genre. We pop up where we feel we are needed. Now is when things are happening. Movies by the people for the people.